In this video we're gonna be talking about an Omnium CXE custom build and here is the creator of this work of art, Alban. A very stylish composition that balances speed, reactivity and control. We're gonna talk about the components, the writing characteristics, the fit, the weight and the price. If you want to know more about the frame set, there is a video where I talk specifically about it. The CXE frame set has a lot of very interesting features and gives you a lot of value for the money actually. I'll put the link to that video somewhere over here. This particular build has been put together with fast commuting in mind, but with white flat bars in order uh, to have an excellent level of control over the handling which is necessary in some commuting situations where you need to react very quickly to avoid obstacles and change direction. The components. The wheels on this build are the Mike DX Reflex. They are in the road category of Mike's wheel sets, but with everyday use in mind. They are not particularly light, but they are pretty affordable. The tires are the Schwalbe G1 Byte on 40 mm. The choice for the drivetrain is Shimano GRX 2x11, specific for gravel cycling, with a double 30 to 46 crankset and an 11 speeds 11 to 34 cassette. The total gear range is 475%, which is not super wide, but enough for commuting, gravel cycling, and even for light touring. Usually, GRX is used with drop bars on gravel bikes. But in this case, we are using a Shimano Road and Gravel compatible SLRS700 flat bar shifters. If you look them up on the internet, you might find they belong to the Shimano 105 series. But they are actually also compatible with Shimano GRX, according to this Shimano compatibility chart, where we can see the RS700 shifters are in the exact compatibility box than the 105 shifters and the GRX shifters. The the brakes are cable-pulled Avid BB7 Road with mountain bike Shimano Dior levels. This was just a little compatibility distraction of the builder and uh, there are actually no issues to report. The brakes work perfectly fine. On a rim brake system we could have had a braking power problem, but with these brakes, as the bite of the calipers is so much stronger, then the mismatch goes unnoticed. The handlebar is the Ritchie Classic on 10 degrees back sweep. The grips are from that grip. The stem is a 100 mm and minus 10 degree Thompson Elite X4. And the headset is a beautiful White Industries on 118 inch straight. The saddle is the beautiful and comfortable Brooks Cambium C17 Special. The ride. In a few words, this build on the Omnium CXE frame set is a good balance between reactivity, speed and control. The rear end feels pretty reactive thanks to the adjustable rocker dropouts you can play with the length of the chain stays. You can either have them all the way to the front and increase the reactivity or all the way to the back and have more tire clearance. 45mm is the official max tire clearance, but we were able to fit 50mm slick tires. The front end of the bike feels very reactive. The frame has a quite a steep head tube angle of uh, 74.5 degrees and a trail number of about 50, so very agile, very reactive handling. The fit. This frame is medium and Alban is 1 meter 79. The size medium is a slightly small for a 179 person, but there are some advantages to that. A small frame is lighter and more reactive than bigger frames. If this bike is gonna be mainly used for commuting, I think having a very compact frame size is nice. If the bike was gonna be used for long rides or bike trips, I would have gone for a large frame with a smaller stem and a less aggressive position for more comfort. The fact that the frame is a tiny bit small for Alban and that the head tube angle is quite steep left him with a small toe overlap of about 2 cm, but he got used to it. Going for a 650B build can help with this issue as the wheels would have a smaller diameter 
We talk more in detail about this on the frame set overview. The link is in the description below. The weight. The total weight comes at 11.5 kilos, which is not too bad considering that the frame set on size medium weighs 3.75 kilos, which is not light, but is a strong frame set made out of 4130 chromoly and made to withstand commuting life. The components are not particularly light either. The wheel set is at about 2 kilos, a brook saddle is not light, etc. But 11.5 kilos is fine, particularly considering the price range, the price. Here is the list of the components used. 2,089 euros is a pretty good total for a bike that has very nice components like Shimano GRX, a white industries headset, a Thompson stem, a brook saddle, etc. The biggest savings are in the frame set and the brakes, I think. The price for the frame set is gone up from the 690 euros we bought it in 2022 to 799 euros now. I just checked. So I hope this video gave you some inspiration for your own builds. Thanks for supporting the channel and see you next time.